Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for me if you would before I get started. But I wanted to share with you a new product that I just got called the Walk Off Wax Mega Blaster. Um, purchased this after a little bit of a frustrating um, break of the 2021 January edition of the Boombox. Um, this was actually... It was less than 50 bucks even after um, shipping, but uh, on the side here it says in 2020 we started walk-off wax, um, and I like how they said um, the walk-off wax box to exactly see how much wow you can get from it, um, because as it says on here, boxes that didn't go boom. So maybe a little shout out, little uh, little jab at the boom box. Um, lack of consistency, I think, in their boxes, which I've watched a few videos on some other channels recently, and uh, it's pretty much consensus, even in some of their football products, which are very expensive. So they also sent me this um, in with it because I had uh, commented on something. Um, looks like an auto. I'm going to save that till the end. There's also... Um, a guaranteed hit in here. So on the front here, they say nine great packs inside, six current, three classics, and plus either uh, two auto relics or one graded card hit. So this doesn't feel like a, it's big enough to be a graded card, but feels like it's definitely something uh, something good in there. And I like their packaging as well. Um, pretty professional, but for pretty much for under fifty bucks, um, and this is not a subscription. Um, and they do have a little reminder post on Facebook, Twitter for free packs, which I'm always up for free stuff. So, um, I'll be doing that, but look at all this stuff you get, um, with the actual, you know, this is part of the product. The other one was a gift. Um, but this is part of the product with the relic or autos. Um, and you get all of this for basically under 50 bucks with the shipping. So, um, pretty good deal. I think they have a smaller, um, a smaller set you can get, but you know, hey, I'm go big or go home. So you got the 92 tops, you got um, Donruss, uh, 1989 Donruss, you got uh, some Diamond um, Donruss Major League Series 2 from 92. So you got the older packs there, and then the newer packs, you got the 2020 Fat uh, Hanger of the uh, Series 1. We got 2020 Bowman. We got another older pack, 1995 Baseball um, Tops Series One. We got. I really like this product. Uh, one of the only Panini products that I like with baseball um, is the Diamond Kings. I got the 2020 Big League Baseball from Tops and the 2020 Archives. So we'll start with the older stuff first. We'll go. We'll start with the 89. This is the kind of the least. Um, important pack out of them all. Um, I opened up so much of this from being, you know, they're nice Nolan Ryan there. Um, so much of this when I was younger. Um, but it's always fun just to kind of break a pack or two, open every once in a while of these of this old stuff, just to kind of see what you get. I mean, there are some good rookies in these um, in these packs that are definitely worth. Um, you know, worth a pack or two here or there. Um, let me see, these are. I hate it when they go all different ways. Barry Jones, Helmut Kale, Randy Reddy, Cecil Fielder. It's a nice card. Not much going on. Not much going on there, but that's fine. I don't expect much from these packs, but again, they're kind of fun to open up um, just to see see who you get. Um, you know, personal collection cards pretty much are what's in here. These sets were so big, and there are so many prints were made of these. And this is because this is a nice. This is actually a pretty nice pack. The '95 Series One. Um, I'm not 
mistaken, this is the pack you can actually get a Derek Jeter out of these. And they do like to stick. Give them a little bit of a tug and they usually come, come apart. They're going to be a little sticky today. Put them down as I go through them. Draft pick, Doug Millen. A couple cards stuck together there. Pat, Pat Mahomes. Of course, uh, that is the father of Patrick Mahomes, the future Hall of Fame quarterback and maybe another Super Bowl champion this year. We'll see how that goes. I hate that some of these are sticking together. We've got Hall of Famer Randy Johnson. Last couple cards here. Hopefully they're a little bit better condition, not sticking up, st sticking together. I'm just kind of glad we didn't get much of anything in that pack because um, the Randy Johnson is probably the nicest card. But I hate hate that they stuck together like that. Um, let's do the 2020 Heritage next, or I'm sorry, Archives next. Let's see what we get there. Hopefully we'll get some sort of hit from these packs it would be really really nice Corey Seager we got something coming up Hammer and Hank it's a nice card Noah Syndergaard Steven Strasburg we'll do the 2020 big league pack Let's see what's going on in here Aroldis Chapman Jose Altuva, Noah Sandegard, Charlie Blackman, Defensive Wizards, Jordan Alvarez. That's a nice card. Um, Jordan Alvarez, rookie. So hopefully he has a good season coming up um, soon. This card actually is pretty well centered as well. Um, they're him getting the the Reggie, I'm sorry, Jackie Robinson award. We're on Alvarez. So far, I think probably the best card we've gotten. Let's open up the that nice fat pack of the 2020 Series One. Again, all this, all these cards were under fifty dollars. Um, we haven't even got to the um, the hits yet. So curious to see what we get here. Nico Horner, uh, rookie card. That's a nice card. Um, pulled quite a few of his. Um, and from what I understand that the Cubs say, um, uh, Grandpa Rossi says that he is going to be a day-to-day -day player coming up in this um, in 2021 season. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with more playing time. Um, I was pulling for him to get more playing time uh, just because I've collected him heavily. And that'd be kind of a nice return on the investment. Christian Yelich, um, there's a... Tops now Pete Alonzo, another Noah Syndergaard. Then the last half of the pack here, Cody Bellinger. It's a nice card. Ryan Braun, we'll just skip past Ryan Braun. Jose Quintana, hopefully he comes back full strength from that uh, crazy dishwashing accident he had. Um, Juan Soto, World Series. Um, Tim Anderson, Jose Abreu. Glover, Jarrett Cole, last couple cards here. Javi Baez, of course, is always exciting to watch. If you haven't figured it out by now, I am a Cubs fan. I do, do a lot of personal collection of uh, Cubs. I have a lot of Ernie Banks. I got Fergie Jenkins. I got Ron Santos. I got all sorts of stuff in my personal collection. Uh, Cubs related Andre Dawson being my favorite player of all time uh, So right off the bat there you got Mookie Betts. That's a nice card George Springer Coming into some of the chromes Clark Schmidt and the last two cards there so it all comes down to the Diamond Kings and then we have the um, guaranteed hits to, to open up. So Diamond Kings, let's see what we get. Love the looks of these cards. 
Kyle Wright, Clayton Kershaw, Joe DiMaggio, and Max, Max Scherzer. You know what I'm saying? Max Scherzer. All right, so here's that guaranteed hit pack. Um, find some scissors here. Oh, wait a second. A little pull tab on here. So the guaranteed hit is going to be, again, an auto, which it is. Looks like Brandon Moss. Auto right there. And then they must have known that I liked the Cubs. Um, they probably did. They just guessed. But there's the Ben Zobris Cubs second baseman. Um, numbered 7 out of 331, which is a pretty nice card. That is from the 2017. So that was the year after um, the World Series. And then Brandon Moss. Um, that is a 2015 auto. So nice auto there. Uh, that's a nice on card as well. And then the one, the little present they sent me. Um, so they said, so don't forget to write this on Facebook and Twitter. Your hits, which I will post my hits on there. Um, Peralta. Don't ask me how to pronounce his first name, but that is a nice on card auto. Uh, first Bowman from 2017. So this is a minor league. Um, looks like he was with the Orioles. Don't know much about him. I'll look him up to see where he's at in the minor league system. But that is a nice, see, actually, actually that's a pretty nice autograph. Some of these guys get real lazy. Now, this is a pretty nice autograph, but I've gotten some lazy autographs before. So out of this for basically 50 bucks, let's call it 50 bucks, um, two autos. Um, this will go, this will be a PC. Um, the Nico Horner um, and a bunch of other great cards. I mean, there was obviously there were some good packs in there, so I'm not going to dog on that. Um, but for the price, I think for the price point, because I paid, I forget how much for the boom box, but I think price wise, I think this is a, a better way to go, especially with the you know guaranteed hits um, and the amount of packs, even with the older stuff, uh, was pretty cool. So thanks guys, um, thanks for uh, thanks to Walk Off Wax for sending me the little present. And the guaranteed hits. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check back for more videos. Um, make sure you guys just like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. And go check out. I'll put the link for the walk-off wax in, my, in the description. Have a great day, guys.